Secure boot stopping you from getting into the Battlefield Open Beta? Let's fix that. As you can see, the system I'm using is already set up as UEFI, and you can see this by hitting Windows and typing System Information. Mine does not have Secure Boot on. Now, your BIOS might actually be CSM or Legacy, and we're gonna fix that together if it does. Okay, first things first, let's see what we're working with. Hit Windows, type CMD, right-click, and run as administrator. Type in Disk Part and hit Enter, then List Disk and hit Enter. If you've got an asterisk next to your main drive under GPT, you're all set. We can skip to the BIOS section. If not, let's get that fixed. Type exit and hit enter. Next, we're going to type MBR to GPT dash validate dash allow full OS and hit enter. You should get a response that says validation completed successfully if your computer is ready to convert to GPT. If you didn't, it could mean that there's too many partitions on the drive. It only supports up to four primary partitions. If that's the case, you'll wanna look at those before you just delete them willy nilly. Some PCs come with manufacturer specific utility partitions like Dell. In my case, I already have a GPT, so it's gonna say failed. If it does say successful, it's time to convert. Now I suggest you back up your files. 99% of the time, this works 100% of the time, but anytime you're working with system level stuff, it's a good practice to back up. I did do it at home and it did work fine. Let's enter MBR to GPT dash convert dash allow full OS and hit enter. Once that's complete, we've converted our partition to GPT and we can get into the BIOS. While the computer reboots, you're gonna spam delete, F2, F10, whatever it is for your board, until you get into the BIOS. All right, if you've got an Asus board and it loads into easy mode, make sure you go ahead and switch over to advanced mode. Now for me, it's gonna be in the boot tab. It's gonna be a little bit different for everybody else, but the principle is the same. If you can't find it, go ahead and toss your motherboard model into ChatGPT and ask it to help you find it. First, make sure that CSM is disabled. Next, I'm gonna head into the secure boot tab and you'll see that it says other OS if you're on an ASUS board. We're gonna switch that to Windows UEFI. Now on other motherboards, you might get an error that says something about keys or family or something like that. All you need to do is reinstall or rebuild your security keys. There should be a convenient little button to do so. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on resizable bar. That just lets my system use all of my GPU VRAM. And if you have an Intel GPU, you need this on, trust me. Then we'll press F10 to save and exit and let the computer reboot. And just like that, secure boot is enabled. We've got Battlefield 6 running. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments below and we're gonna try and make sure we answer everything that we can. Plus our community is great, they know a lot. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped. If it did, leave a like and we'll see you on the battlefield.